Hey, how can I help you? Hi. I have a book for you to look at today. Okay. On the Trial of Witches. On the Trial of Witches? Printed in London in 1716. Oh, that's great. The two ladies that were accused here actually never confessed, but they were summarily uh, hung. All this back then was crazy, just the way it was proved you're a witch. They would keep on stacking bricks on your chest until you confessed, and then <laughs> if you didn't confess, you just died. <laughs> <laughs> I got this book from a friend of mine that uh, decided he wanted to stop collecting books, so he offered it to me. The leather covers were essentially about to fall off. I wanted to rebind it so someone could read the book and enjoy it. If we're able to make a deal today, uh, I'd like to be able to take the money and put it uh, towards a college fund that my wife and I have set up for our twins. This is about? About a witch trial um, in 1662 that later formed the basis of the Salem witch trials in the 1690s. A trial of witches at the... Aziz? Held at Bury St. Edmunds uh, in Suffolk, England. That's absolutely great. Essentially what you have here is a transcript of, of the trial that was held at that time. So there's a lot of uh, interesting uh, notes about the things that the, the two ladies that were the witches, supposed witches, were accused of. And it's the, the children that they were accused of bewitching, it talks, it's basically their testimony. Do you know that if this is like a first edition or a second edition? This actually is a second edition. Uh, the first edition was printed in 1682. Um, this is the, the stated second edition from 1716. Okay. Hysteria around witchcraft has been around since the dawn of time. And in the 15 and 1600s in Europe, they had over 50,000 witches executed. It wasn't until the Enlightenment period, they basically began to calm down on the whole witch thing. I like the binding on it, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> I had it rebound. Uh, when I originally got it, it was in a little bit of rough shape on the outside, but everything on the text block on the inside was in remarkable condition. Okay, so how much were you looking to get out of it? Uh, I'm asking $2,500 for the book. Okay, I have no idea if that's a good price or not. Um, do you mind to have someone look at it? Absolutely, yeah, okay. would love to. She knows everything there is to know about them. So okay. um, give me a few minutes, I'll get her down here. Um, have her take a look at it and we'll go from there. Sounds good. Okay, be Thank right you. back. Thank you. I'm excited to have an expert come in and take a look at the book. I look forward to hearing uh, her opinion. A book on witches. Oh, think about it. If I lived in the 17th century, I would have been called a witch. And she gets called something close to that now. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> would you like this evaluation? Or... Yeah, yeah, yes, I would. Yes, right. And don't cast a spell on me. <laughs> All right. So it's a trial of witches. This trial right here was a landmark case because Cotton Mather used this as the authority to say, we will use spectral evidence in the Salem witch trials. Okay. Um, spectral evidence is essentially dreams. The people who are being tortured by the witch, they can point to that person and say, oh, that was the person I saw in the dream. That can be used as evidence in a court of law crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, because I dream some really weird stuff, so. Uh... <laughs> Don't we all though? And yeah. this was the precedent. This book is right up my alley. I love learning about these primary source historical records that tell us how people thought they had evidence for witchcraft, whether a woman was actually a witch. So what do you think it's worth? Uh, this is an okay shape. So you have the rebind, which is not the end of the world. And then, of course, you have the 1716 imprint here, um, which tells me, too, this is not the first edition. This was printed after the Salem Witch Trials, right? So that first edition is going to be more desirable because we know that's the edition that influenced the Salem Witch Trials. Correct. So as far as value goes, I would place this particular copy around 1500 to 1600 Okay. 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 Thanks. You're the best. You're welcome. Pleasure. Nice meeting you. And I would never call you a witch. <laughs> or the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> Love you. <ya. laughs> I think Rick could find collectors for this. This is a book that should intrigue people, so I think that it could excite the right buyer. So what do you want now? Twelve fifty. I'll give you nine hundred bucks for it. About eleven hundred. Um, I'll do a thousand bucks. How about 1050? We split the difference. There. I will give you a thousand bucks. It just doesn't make sense to pay anymore. It doesn't. Gotcha. Um, all right, I'll do a thousand. Sweet. I will meet you right over there. We'll do some paperwork okay. and I'll get you paid. All right, okay. sounds good. Thank you. 
Well, certainly we want to be able to sell the book at the 2500 but I do understand where the market is on that, and so I'm, I'm fine with that.